nearly every job interview these days will involve at least a few behavioral interview questions. Designed to probe into your past experiences, these questions often start with prompts like, tell me about a time when, or, give me an example of. They're crafted to elicit responses about specific instances in your past where you personally took action or made a decision. Given the format of the question, most answers you give will necessarily involve some version of the phrase, I did. If you're asked to give an example of a time you received tough feedback, you'll have to say something like, I had a time last month. Or, when I got that feedback, the first thing I did was. Saying, you should, can sound evasive and arrogant but when you respond with the words, you should, you diverge from the personal to the impersonal, shifting the focus from your own experiences to general advice. Saying, when you get tough feedback, the first thing you should do is, strays from answering the question directly and obscures, or evades, the unique insights into your capabilities and personality that interviewers seek. The research backs this up. In the Leadership IQ study, words that cost you the job interview, we discovered that interview answers rated poorly by hiring managers use the word, you, almost 400% more than good interview answers. Bad interview answers also contain significantly more present and future tense verbs. Think about it like this. When an interviewer asks a behavioral interview question, they're essentially saying, I want to hear about a specific time in the recent past when you personally faced this specific situation. So when a candidate says, well, what you should do when you face that situation is, they're basically telling the interviewer, I'm not going to answer your question. Instead, I'm going to give you some hypothetical jargon. Would you hire someone who refused to give you a direct answer to a specific question? Saying, you should, creates a detachment from your own experiences. It conveys your response in hypothetical terms rather than as a reflection of your personal journey. This shift can make your answer seem less relevant and less impactful. The interviewer wants to learn about your specific experiences, how you handled a unique situation, and what you thought and felt at that moment. But saying, you should, shuts out the interviewer and prevents them from learning about you and your unique set of experiences. Employing, you should, can also imply a lack of direct responsibility. Behavioral interview questions are structured to understand how you have handled situations in the past. By shifting to a general, you should, statement, you're speaking in generalities, which can be perceived as avoiding accountability for your own actions. Another unintended consequence of using, you should, is the hint of arrogance it might convey.